Today is June 16th, 2015. Welcome to the Fish and Corn Show, All Things Considered. We have here Mr. Corn, and we want to ask you some uh, questions <clears throat> on this 20, um, 2015, June 15th. Um, Mr. Corn, how would you spend money if you had to waste money? Because we've established that uh, we're pretty frugal here on the show. But how would the corn spend uh, an exuberant amount of money if you came into $2 million? Would you save it, invest it into the market, buy property, or just blow it? Spend it as quickly as possible. And blow it on nonsense. Really? And how yeah. long would it take? Two months fun? Or are you talking more like five years fun? Ten minutes. Ten minutes. <laughs> What is ten minutes for two million dollars? I can spend two million dollars in ten minutes, dude. <laughs> I mean, yeah, if you're buying a satellite. And um, real quickly, Mr. Corn, bring out an old friend. Bring out our scimitar from uh, Bahrain or whatever this thing is, our sword. Old friend. We haven't. Uh, Why do you keep obsessing over the sword? Well, no, they do. Is this, a, is this a dick thing? <laughs> the viewers do. They say, where's the sword? I'm going to slap you in the face with my dick. <laughs> but, all right. Back on topic, uh, Mr. Maiz. What do you feel would be a 10-minute ride with $2 million? I would take the money in cash. Find a building. And just throw it out the window. And see what happens. You know, it's, if there is anybody listening that has that whim, we'd like to see it. So we say... Well, no, 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 no. The thing is... If uh, someone I, were to follow, we don't have to If anybody dollars. remembers... Uh, Someone's done it? Back in the day, a long time ago... It's like... Michael Moore directed a video for Rage Against the Machine where they went to Wall Street and were throwing money around. But it wasn't $2 Literally, million. Literally, but it wasn't $2 million. And it was a staged event. So I'm wondering what it, what would happen if you had $2 million in $100 bills and took it somewhere and just threw it around. Not somewhere, I mean, you don't take it to a strip joint because uh, yeah, every idiot and their brother does that. No, no, no. You're just raining money on people. You don't care what they do in exchange for that money. You're just raining money on people and want to see how they react. That would be worth $2 million to me. I so, mean, you know, I, I could spend it on rational you yourself stuff, but... Like, rifling the cash no, off? No, 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 you throw it in duffel bags full off the friggin... <laughs> All bunched up? No, 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 you make sure that it will, you know... Disperse. Out, disperse. Preferably a windy day on a busy highway. I would somewhere. say a plane. You'd have to at least get it some height... No, I know. What or we a need. drone. A drone. <laughs> really our drone, but that could only... All right, back on a technical thing. How much talking, payload? Um, How with their hundred dollar bills, if they're hundred dollar bills, I think you could probably take up. We need to get a stack of ten thousand. Ten minute flight time because the three D R drone is about twenty minutes. What's Seeing the payload thing, capacity on that thing though? As far as hundred dollar. No, no, bills, no! I want to know the total payload capacity. Of well, I'm trying to put it in dollar bill form, so you, if you can guess what I'm thinking. Oh. Uh, and if you viewers. On 3DR, our 3DR fans, writing what do you think payloads are? I mean, it's all probably documented, but in hundreds, how much uh, money can a 3DR drone fly around? Ooh, that's a good topic to put this on. Yeah. Well, I would say, is, all right, you know those stacks? I think $10,000 stack, yeah. I think effectively to do a drop for this performance, not a straight out uh, uh, tractor pull style, but to fly it around and disperse yeah. it, I'd say about five of those stacks. Really? Tax. That's what? 500,000? Yeah, that's... No, that's 50,000. 50,000. That's kind of heavy, though. I mean, that's... No, yeah, but I'm saying you're reduced to 10-minute flight time, I'm saying. Oh, you wouldn't even need 10 yeah. minutes. Five minutes But I'm just tops. saying, oh, then if you could do five minutes, I'd say just tack on another one stack. So six if you could do it in five. So you could do it in increments of $60,000 a pop. Okay, I couldn't do it in 10 minutes. I could not do that in 10 minutes. Hmm. Well, whatever that would take. That would but that would be what I would do with them. Okay. I mean we got drone usage. Three D R. This is a someone with a three D R, one of our fans who has a lot of cash. Try it out. See if what you can do with your three D R drone. And unless you get video of it, it didn't happen. Then we want that video too. 
So we could put that on, uh, you know, affecting the news. And this is all things considered Speaking with... Speaking of the news, the I want to talk about the, the pretend black lady. Black lady who pretend... Oh, she looked to me... I'm going to tell you something. She looked like she was trying so hard, she was doing it better than the real black person. I can, I can see the way she looked with the whole afro... The sideshow Bob look. Yes, I think... She looks she, like sideshow Bob, dude. Yeah, with this, now it looks kind of this, it's that we, that one person on the episode of If Different World, if you remember that show, who's like that one, yeah, is, yeah, yeah, you like could, is white but black, yeah, yeah, like, yeah. I guess this girl biracial, was doing, no, well she passes as biracial, sure, but she's not even that, dude, I she's, thought she's all white, no, she's full on white, yes, yeah, so I mean, I, I don't know man, I mean, here's the deal, uh, you are what you are. You're, you're not what you identify as, okay? If that were true, uh, look, look, all my life I've identified as a tall, muscular Scandinavian. Unfortunately, I'm trapped in this body. This body. <laughs> it's like, ideally, I would like to look like a Nordic god. Do you, all right, real quickly now on the topic of this lady, do you think she should stay in her job or you think it's warranted to get the fuck out of the position? See... That's the thing. I mean, she did lie of sorts. Everybody lies. You should, yeah, I know. We've talked about padding the yeah, resume. Everybody lies. So, but, but, I mean, she, I think she here's was, the, here's she was what, trying to fit some thing. ego here's thing. Here's the thing. She, She's a smart gal. She worked the system brilliantly. <laughs> she got her fucking college paid for. Um, you know, she got a sweet job. Um, How much all was it making a year? Well, that doesn't matter the money. It's the but I'm just saying, you know. did she have enough to go? I don't know if she was into hookers and cocaine money, but she was comfortable, okay? And like so, a teacher comfortable more? Like, I, I can't imagine more than a teacher comfortable, but because she was an academic, whatever the fuck that means. But uh, I, I can't hate her. She just, you know, got found out. Yeah, I guess we can. You know what, to tell you the truth, I can't hate her. But w what is what is hilarious about it is the, the conversation that has emerged because of it you know it, and it's timing and the way it's been uh, combined with the Bruce Jenner thing I don't understand it all th uh, all things uh, considered please pause while I open up this cigar just killing the smoke the pipe smoke oh my god and uh, welcome back to the, the shed we're in the shed today on the June 15th of all things hey. considered on the fish and corn show hold on I gotta open the door Right now you can't see this, but I'm moving a paint tray, a three-quarter inch box wrench, the and box the door is open. Give me the box wrench. Yeah. Show their fans with how we shoot. <laughs> <coughs> yeah. Now, I don't understand, man. It's like they're trying to merge the two, and in a way it, it does make sense to merge the two because... It's all part of this little head game that the media is playing on us. But uh, I don't understand it. Oh, this is uh, from the boat. Yeah, I, uh, cool. <sighs> I don't know, man. The world's gotten nutty. Now you can identify as whatever, and so long as enough people believe you, you get to be that person. So, for all, all those people out there, I self-identify as a six-foot-five white dude. From right? Norway. From Norway. Or was it Iceland? That, one of those Scandinavian places, you know. Oh, geez, this is last week's notes. Um, where are our notes? Ah, oh, here it is in my pocket. We'd like to also thank our sponsors, RE Therapy, and we will bring another video, another segment of All Things Considered and show We're you about it. All Things Considered, man. Quit it's saying just, that. It's, Quit it's, saying that. The, it's off. Oh, no, wait. No, no, no. We're not. The Fish and Corn Show would like to thank... This is just our episode. I know. This okay, is our all right. things considered episode. Our obsession with the news. Yes, our obsession with the news. And the fact that we're both fucking uh, public radio nerds. Yes. But anyways, uh, thank Rare Therapy, Pain and Pain Skate Magazine, and back on to the show. Um, El Mayis... Uh, You're we talked about there. the black lady. Pretend black lady. She's not really black. Which, well, going back to that, though, 
Did you know that she's like involved in this lawsuit currently where she's sue like, the school? No, no, no. That was way back in the day. No, nowadays she's she's uh, she's working for the plaintiff or is testifying in on behalf of the plaintiff in a uh, civil suit involving uh, her biological brother, who turns out to be a, a child molester. This is her now? Yeah, 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 yeah. It's yeah, just I mean, taking all sorts of you, shit. You just wormhole that story down, and it just gets weirder and weirder and weirder and weirder. And it's it's crazy shit, dude. Crazy shit. So you got to you gotta question the the reasons that they're telling you this. You know, with, with any media story, there are four things you should ask yourself. Why is this being said? Who is it saying? Who Who's saying it? How are they saying it? Okay. And we'll be doing this. What is being said? In part two. We're going to pause here and just start filming straight after I put this. So it'll be two videos on line. We don't.